Okay. So, in the previous segment of the video, I told you about the classification of the reflexes and that classification of reflex was based upon either on the anatomical classification or the physiological or the classification that was based on location of sensory receptor like where exactly the sensory receptor of a particular reflex is located either it is located superficially like in as we can say in the skin or deeply within the muscle or the tendon. So, based on that it is either superficial or the deep. Now, the superficial one are also known as cutaneous reflex because the sensory receptor is present within the skin and the deep one can also be called as either the muscle reflex or the deep reflex just deep reflex or deep tendon reflex. So, if we call it muscle reflex or the tendon reflex or the deep tendon reflex all these three things are one and same. Now, the example of <coughs> this deep tendon reflex is stretch reflex, stretch reflex is the basic reflex the knee jerk reflex about that we have talked till now like say if we hit the tendon of the quadriceps femoris there will be the contraction of this extensor muscle of the leg quadriceps femoris that is stretch reflex the basic example of the stretch reflex and this is also known as myotatic reflex. The other example of this tendon reflex is Golgi tendon reflex or Golgi tendon reflex is also known as lengthening reaction this one we will cover in the coming slide. Okay. And the cutaneous reflex the example of cutaneous reflex is withdrawal reflex in withdrawal reflex like in the previous segment I gave you the example you are in a kitchen preparing some food and all of a sudden you touch any heated element like aapko koi garam tawe pe haath lag gaya. Then what will be the response of the body? Withdraw that part of the body. So, that withdrawal reflex who are the sensory like uh, where was the exactly sensory receptor located for that sense was temperature and sensory receptor was located in the skin it sensed that there is increased temperature. So, this is a cutaneous reflex and ultimately it ended up in withdrawing that particular limb. So, we can call it withdrawal reflex or we can call it pain reflex it happened because of the pain and or we can call it flexor reflex like withdrawal happened because of the flexor muscle contraction. So, this is the example of cutaneous reflex. Now, stretch and myotactic reflex actually this segment is regarding muscle spindle. So, before going to muscle spindle I am just giving you brief overview like why we have to talk about the muscle spindle. So, just this one slide before we move over to the muscle spindle. So, the stretch reflex or the myotatic reflex this is the basic reflex like whenever a skeletal muscle with intact nerve supply is stressed it will contract. Okay. It means whenever a skeletal muscle with intact nerve supply is stressed or provided the stimulus it will contract. So, what is the stimulus? Stimulus is stretch of the muscle. What is the response? Response is contraction of the muscle which is being stretched and who is the sense organ or who is the sensory receptor? This sensory receptor is present within the muscle itself and the name of this sensory receptor for the stretch reflex is muscle spindle it is part of the muscle okay. and where exactly it is located it is located in the fleshy part of the muscle and fleshy part of the muscle is the middle segment of the muscle the peripheral end forms tendon on both the sides. So, the middle part or the middle fleshy part where exactly this sensory organ for stretch reflex is located and this sensory organ is called as muscle spindle and which kind of the neurotransmitter is released in this reflex arc glutamate and glutamate is as we all know it is excitatory neurotransmitter. Okay. And this reflex the stretch or myotatic reflex is best known as knee jerk reflex knee jerk reflex. So, now coming to muscle spindle before we read all these slides let me try to explain you by drawing a diagram okay where exactly okay 
here we will <coughs> try to mm, draw the diagram say um, I will try to draw the diagram of muscle okay skeletal muscle this is imagine this is skeletal muscle this part and this part this is the peripheral end and this is middle one so where exactly the muscle spindle was located in the middle fleshy part now i will try to show the outer segment as blue color and what kind of the fiber these are they are extra fusel fiber okay now in between the middle one a spindle shape structure of the fibers it gives <coughs> the appearance of spindle this green one this entire green one this is muscle spindle okay this is muscle spindle and the fibers which form this muscle spindle they are known as intrafusal fiber okay they are known as intrafusal fiber now these intrafusal fiber i will just uh, rub it off and try to clear the pen marking say this one now we will just try to draw the diagram of muscle spindle forget about the extrafusal fiber muscle spindle it is made up of the intrafusal fiber okay now the intrafusal fiber are further divided into two types one is kind of the fiber which is swollen in the middle and the other one is not swollen just cylindrical type okay this cylindrical type and now within this these like say if i try to draw these just imagine these are the nucleus of the muscle fiber so this one is called as nuclear bag fiber nuclear bag fiber and this one is called as chain fiber why just based on where exactly the nucleus how like in what shape they are located if it is in present in the chain shape then it is called as nuclear chain fiber if it is located like a collection collection of the nuclei within the bag then nuclear bag fiber okay so nuclear chain fiber and nuclear bag fiber these interfusal fiber interfusal fiber are they are parallel to the extrafusal fiber right and what is the extrafusal fiber extrafusal fiber are the outer fiber of the skeletal muscle and as i said previously these extrafusal fiber are the one which constitutes more than 90% of the skeletal muscle and they are the one which are responsible for the contraction almost entire of the contraction of the skeletal muscle happens because of the extrafusal fiber now this intrafusal fiber they do not contribute to overall contractile force of the muscle they serve as pure sensory function their main function is sensory they will sense the stretch of the muscle okay they will sense as the stretch of the muscle now these interfusal fiber they have been divided into nuclear bag fiber and nuclear chain fiber forget about the dynamic static thinner and shorter that we will cover uh, after like a couple of minutes we will talk about this thing what is dynamic and static just nuclear bag fiber and nuclear chain fiber typically a particular muscle spindle it contains 2 to 3 nuclear bag fiber and about 5 nuclear chain fibers 5 nuclear chain fiber if you look over here see forget about all these like marking or the written thing just try to visualize this part this part this entire outer one and this entire outer one they are the extrafusal fiber okay and intrafusal are this one 
and this one. This one is nuclear chain fiber and this one is nuclear bag fiber, right? Nuclear chain and nuclear bag fiber. So, if we look at a muscle spindle, it essentially we can study the muscle spindle by dividing it into three parts, three essential elements. One is interfusal muscle fiber. Now, these interfusal muscle fiber, they have got contractile polar end and non contractile center. Just now, I said the interfusal fiber, they serve only sensory function, but now I am saying the contractile part is there. That contractile part is different from helping in or contributing in the muscle contraction. Okay. So, I will cover this thing. First, the, let us have a look over the second segment. Second part of the muscle spindle is it is made up of the three part one is interfusal muscle fiber. Second and third part is it is now supply. The second one is afferent and the third one is efferent now. So, afferent now they are further divided into two types type 1 a and type 2. They will carry the sensation to the central nervous system. They originate from the central part of the interfusal fiber and carry the sensation. What is the sensation they are supposed to carry? Stretch and they will carry that stretch to the spinal cord. The third part is small di diameter myelinated efferent nodes. They supply the polar contractile end. The main difference between afferent and efferent is afferent is originating from the central part and efferent is supplying the polar, polar means the peripheral contactile end. Now, I will try to draw the diagram in this way. Okay. Uh, okay. In this slide, if we look over here, this part, this was a fleshy part. Okay, this fleshy part. This fleshy part never contracts, it is not contractile, but the part of this one, this part, this peripheral or polar contractile and this is contractile, a bit of contractile. Now, this contractility of interfusal fiber, it does not contribute to the contractile force of the skeletal muscle, then why it is contractile? It means it has got some other function to serve. So, first we will cover the peripheral, the central part, okay. the central part, and this central part is, um, sorry, okay. this central part, the nerve supply, the second part of oh, muscle spindle was the afferent fiber, afferent fiber are 1 a and 2. Okay. Now, 1 a fiber and the two fiber, both are type of the afferent fibers and before it, one second, let me cover this thing, clear, the, oh, everything, good. Okay. No, no, don't worry, I will draw this diagram again. This is nuclear bag fiber one, this is nuclear bag, one nuclear bag fiber. Okay. Now, I will try to draw two nuclear bag fiber. Why? Because nuclear bag fiber is further subdivided into dynamic and static. Now, it is very essential to understand dynamic and static. Just imagine you are stretching a muscle muscle is in a resting condition, you stretch it. So, the part of the stretching, initial part when it was in a resting condition and you applied the stretch and you applied a certain force to stretch it and you maintained that force, the same amount of the force for some time. So, initially when it changed from resting to stretch, that part is called as dynamic stretch and you maintained that constant amount of the force of the stretching for say 2 minutes. So, in that 2 minutes, the initial few seconds, 
from 0 to say you provided some so, sort of the force from 0 second, 0 second is the initial point 0 second to within 2 to 3 second you provided the maximum force. So, initial 3 segment 3 second that constitutes the dynamic part and after the 3 second you kept on applying the same amount of the force for stretching for 2 minutes. Now, stretching is happening right the muscle is getting stressed, but that force is not changing that is called as static stretch. So, nuclear bag fiber are of two types one which responds to the dynamic one dynamic stretch. It means whenever there is change see you initially the muscle was in resting condition you provided the stretch then you kept on applying that constant amount of the stretch for 2 minutes and then you released it. So, the initial starting point when you are providing the stretch and the final point after 2 minutes at the end of the 2 minutes last 1 to 2 second when you are removing that constant force these both things are the time when the dynamic nuclear bag fibers will be the one which will sense this change in the stretch ok. And throughout that in between part the 2 minutes constant stretch that will be sensed by nuclear static fiber as well as nuclear chain fiber. Nuclear chain fiber they are just concerned with the static stretch. This nuclear chain fiber are just concerned with the static stretch, but nuclear bag fiber are of two types one is for the dynamic other one is for static ok. Now, we said there are two types of the efferent, efferent fiber which goes to the spinal cord. So, one a 1 a first of all they will go from the central part. So, 1 a I am trying to depict the 1 a with this green color 1 a fiber takes the sensation from all the three types whether it is dynamic nuclear bag fiber or static nuclear bag fiber or nuclear chain fiber that is the sensation is carried by 1 a. Now, this 2 a fiber they carry the sensation from the central obviously they will carry from central part they carry the sensation from chain fiber and nuclear static bag fiber. So, 1 a supplies all the three whether this is the dynamic nuclear bag static nuclear bag or nuclear chain fiber 2 carries the sensation from the static component only and static component is sensed by nuclear chain fiber and static nuclear bag fiber ok. So, if we look over here say where we will go back to the slide where all these things are mentioned. See before going to that thing intrafusal muscle fiber from the muscle spindle that we all know sensory receptor for stretch reflex in the skeletal muscle is the this is the muscle spindle both end of the muscle spindle are connected in parallel and the with the extra fusel fiber. So, this muscle spindle it senses it monitors the length and the rate of change in length of the extra fusel fiber. Now, you will understand what does it mean how much is the length and at what speed it is getting changed when you are applying the stretch that dynamic component how fast and how strong you are applying that stretch that is also sensed and who senses that dynamic nuclear bag fiber ok dynamic nuclear bag fiber the static nuclear bag fiber and nuclear chain fiber sense the change in the length whether it is stressed or not static component right and rate is sensed by the dynamic component. So, muscle involved with the fine movements the muscle who is involved with more finer movements like the hand muscles we have to perform so many fine movements with the help of the hand. So, these muscles of the hand they have got the maximum number of the muscle spindle because they have to sense the change in the length and the rate of change in length both ok. So, this one 1 a afferent fiber if we look over here 
this one two kind of the sensory nerve endings are there in each spindle one is single primary ending that is a group 1a and up to eight secondary ending that is a group 2 1a afferent fiber it wraps around the center of dynamic and static nuclear bag as well as the nuclear chain all the three component and group 2 fiber it wraps around just the static nuclear bag fiber and nuclear chain fiber so group 2 we can say the type 2 fiber do not innervate dynamic nuclear bag fibers dynamic nuclear bag fibers so what is the function of 1a 1a is very sensitive to velocity of change in length okay that we discussed like from resting to you provide the stretch there will be velocity of change in length dynamic response so they are responsible for dynamic response and they provide information about the speed of the movement and uh, like what is the speed of the movement at what speed the change in the length of the muscle is happening so it allows for quick corrective movement accordingly body will do the corrective movement now the second part was steady state static response this activity or this is also called as tonic activity of group 1a and 2 group 2 is exclusive for the static and group 1 is for both dynamic and static so they provide information on steady steady state length of the muscle and if i want to give you the example of steady state or static responses the perfect example is of the muscles anti gravity muscles like throughout the day when we walk or we stand or whatever we are doing our anti gravity muscles they are working throughout the day against the gravity to nullify or negate the effect of the gravity they have to keep on performing they have to keep on stressed and contracting and gravity is constant it will not change right so that is the static component throughout the day a constant amount of the stretch will be there on these muscles anti gravity muscles and it will keep on contracting as a koi bhi mauka nahi aayega tab relax ho jayegi unhe contract rehna hi padega to negate the effect of the gravity right to negate the effect of the gravity is cheez mein aapka ye kaam aayega jo humne abhi kuch time pehle padha tha ki muscle spindle is made up of the interfusal fiber ek taraf to hum keh rahe hain it is made up of the interfusal fiber and interfusal fiber do not contribute to the contractile portion of the skeletal muscle aur dusri taraf hum keh rahe hain ki interfusal fiber ka jo peripheral end hota hai wo contractile hota hai ab usko discuss karte hain ki kya hota hai what does it mean usse pehle aapko ye dekho ye muscle spindle it is of three part one was interfusal fiber that we covered nuclear bag and chain second was afferent 1a and 2 now the third one third one is efferent fiber and efferent fiber only one type gamma motor neuron alpha motor neuron was going to extrafusal fiber and the gam <coughs> sorry the gamma motor neuron is going to this one interfusal fiber now these gamma motor neurons based on whether they are innovating the nuclear bag dynamic nuclear bag fiber or the dynamic either the dynamic component or the static nuclear bag fiber and nuclear chain fiber they have been divided into two types dynamic gamma motor neuron and static gamma motor neuron it means the gamma motor neuron which supply the dynamic nuclear bag fiber they have been named dynamic gamma motor neuron and the gamma motor neuron they are still the gamma motor neuron which supply the static nuclear bag fiber and all the nuclear chain fiber they are called as static gamma motor neuron so what is the difference of like dividing gamma motor into dynamic and static the activation of the dynamic gamma motor it increases the dynamic sensitivity of group 1a fiber and activation of static gamma motor neuron increases the tonic level of activity of both group 1a and 2 fiber it decreases the dynamic sensitivity of 1a what does it mean see first we will look at this <coughs> diagram in this diagram this is the example i will zoom in see 
this is the diagram of skeletal muscle and the blue one outer one this is the extrafusal fiber and the inner one this is the interfusal fiber and these are nuclear bag and chain fiber and in the central part the central part this wraps these now fiber they wraps around and annular spiral you can say they are either 1 a or 2 fiber and this maroon maroon colored now fiber efferent they are innovating or supplying the peripheral end they are the gamma motor neuron ok. Now, if we enhance or enlarge this component see look this is these two are nuclear back fiber and these three are the nuclear chain fiber and out of these two nuclear back fiber this one is dynamic nuclear back fiber and this one is static nuclear back fiber. So, dynamic nuclear back fiber afferent is 1 a and for static nuclear bag and nuclear chain afferent are both 1 a as well as 2 type 2 fiber right type 2 fiber and type 1 a. Nuclear bag has only one type of the afferent that is 1 a that a nuclear bag dynamic one rest of they have two types type 2 as well as type 1 a. Now, the gamma motor neuron which is just ending on the dynamic nuclear bag fiber they are called as dynamic gamma motor neuron and these one the gamma neurons which are ending at static nuclear bag fiber and nuclear chain fiber they are called as static gamma motor neuron. Now, let me explain you why they have become so complicated kya zarurat padi hai aise faltu ki bakwas karne ki right aati hai na ye feeling dekho let me try to explain it see uh, forget about nuclear chain fiber we will try to understand the difference by drawing nuclear bag fiber two type of the nuclear bag fiber first this one ok this one just this part is the contractile end first of all why it is contractile see jab ye contract hoga ye part contract hoga jab ye part contract hoga aur ye part contract hoga to sabse pehle to aap bataiye mujhe is middle part ko kya hoga is middle ko ye middle wala part jo hai ye middle wala ye stretch hoga na ki ye idhar se contact kar raha hai ye idhar se contact kar raha hai dono side se contact ho raha hai to ye stretching hogi stretching hogi to yahan se sensory jo receptor hoenge hum this one just imagine this is dynamic nuclear bag fiber nuclear bag dynamic nuclear bag fiber to ab jaise stretching we pehle humne stretch kiya forget about the this contact length extra fusel fiber hai humne puri entire muscle ko stretch kiya to yahan pe sense we yahan se 1a afferent gaya spinal cord ko aur ye gaya 1a afferent right और उसने क्या किया अल्फा मोटर न्यूरॉन आपके गए एक्स्ट्रा फ्यूजल फाइबर में और उन्होंने कांटेक्ट करवा दिया जब कांटेक्ट हुई मसल तो किस डायरेक्शन होती है सेंटर की तरफ होती है राइट सेंटर की तरफ टेंडन की तरफ नहीं होगी ना तो जब ये सेंटर की तरफ कांटेक्ट हुई तो ये रिलैक्स हो गया ना ये पार्ट रिलैक्स हो गया अब जैसे ही रिलैक्स हुआ तो स्ट्रेचिंग नहीं है तो एफरेंट फाइबर में एक्शन पोटेंशियल जनरेट नहीं हुआ अब अल्फा अल्फा नहीं है अब यहाँ पर एक चीज और है वो है गामा मोटर न्यूरॉन गामा मोटर न्यूरॉन भी आ रहे हैं अब गामा मोटर न्यूरॉन का क्या है हमने जैसे पहले वीडियो में देखा था कि देर आर सो मच इमेंस बम्बार्डमेंट फ्रॉम द हायर सेंटर्स तो वहाँ के साथ गामा मोटर आपके कनेक्टेड है अब गामा मोटर अगर यहाँ पर स्टिमुलेट हुआ तो क्या हुआ ये कांटेक्ट हुआ ये किधर कांटेक्ट होगा ये इस साइड कांटेक्ट होगा ऐसे और ये वाला पार्ट ऐसे कांटेक्ट होगा अब अगर गामा मोटर न्यूरॉन कांटेक्ट होता स्टिमुलेट होता है और इस कॉन्टेक्टाइल पार्ट को कर रहा है तो व्हाट विल हैपन टू दिस सेंट्रल पार्ट दिस सेंट्रल पार्ट विल मूव दिस डायरेक्शन एंड इन दिस डायरेक्शन सो इट विल गेट स्टेस्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल 
गामा मोटर न्यूरॉन इनर्वेट कर रहा है पेरीफल एंड को वो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट हो रहे हैं तो कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ऑफ द पेरीफल एंड इज नॉट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टू द कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ऑफ द एंटायर मसल नो इट्स नॉट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग राइट इट इज जस्ट स्ट्रेचिंग दिस इंटरफ्यूजल फाइबर फर्स्ट थिंग तो ये है आपकी ठीक है सेकेंडली बिकॉज दिस गामा मोटर न्यूरोन दे आर स्ट्रेचिंग गामा मोटर न्यूरोन स्टिमुलेट हो रहा है तो पेरीफल एंड कॉन्टेक्ट हो रहा है तो आपका सेंट्रल पार्ट स्ट्रेच हुआ एंड सेंट्रल स्ट्रेच हुआ तो वन ए एफरेंट में फिर इम्पल्स जनरेट हुआ सो वी कैन से जस्ट लिसन केयरफुली वेन देर इज स्ट्रेचिंग इट इज सेंस्ड बाई वन ए फाइबर इट विल सेंड द सिग्नल टू द स्पाइनल कोड विद इन द स्पाइनल कोड देर विल बी मोटर न्यूरोन कमिंग बैक टू द एंटायर मसल वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द एंटायर मसल एंड दैट मोटर न्यूरोन विल बी अल्फा मोटर न्यूरोन एंड अल्फा मोटर न्यूरोन विल गो टू द एक्स्ट्रा फिजल फाइबर एंड मेक दैट एक्स्ट्रा फिजल फाइबर टू कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बिकॉज द एक्स्ट्रा फिजल फाइबर इज कॉन्ट्रैक्टिंग मसल इज गेटिंग शॉर्ट टर्न इन लेंथ सो दैट स्टेच हैज बीन नलीफाइड अगर आइडियल कंडीशन होती तो ऐसा होता बट नो दिस इज नॉट द आइडियल कंडीशन आइडियल कंडीशन नहीं होती है इसमें एक मोटर न्यूरोन और है दैट इज द गामा मोटर न्यूरोन एंड वट इज गामा मोटर न्यूरोन डूइंग इट इज इनरवेटिंग द पेरीफल एंड ऑफ द इंट्राफ्यूजल फाइबर इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू द एक्स्ट्राफ्यूजल फाइबर इट इज गोइंग टू द पेरीफल एंड ऑफ द इंट्राफ्यूजल फाइबर एंड द पेरीफल एंड ऑफ द इंट्राफ्यूजल फाइबर आर कॉन्टेक्टाइल सो दे आर कॉन्टेक्टिंग इट मीन्स दे आर ट्राइंग टू मूव द सेंट्रल पार्ट अवे फ्रॉम ईच अदर उधर पेरीफरी एंड वाला कॉन्टेक्ट कर रहा है ऊपर वाला कर रहा है नीचे वाला कर रहा है मसल विल गेट स्ट्रेस्ड स्ट्रेच होगी तो वन ए फाइबर फिर स्ट्रेच को सेंस करेगा ये फिर सिग्नल भेजेगा सो फॉर ए प्रॉपर मोमेंट टू हैपन देर शुड बी कोऑर्डिनेशन बिटवीन अल्फा एंड गामा मोटर न्यूरोन अदरवाइज आपका ये ट्रेमुलसनेस बना रहेगा कॉन्टेक्ट होगा रिलैक्स होगा फिर उधर से कॉन्टेक्ट हुआ फिर दोबारा एक्स्ट्रा फ्यूजल फाइबर ने कॉन्टैक्ट किया फिर उसने रिलैक्स किया गामा मोटर न्यूरोन आया उन्होंने फिर स्टिमुलेट करके स्ट्रेच किया फिर आपका रिफ्लेक्स गया वापस स्टिमुलस दोबारा कॉन्टैक्ट हुआ एक्चुअली दिस अल्फा एंड गामा को एक्टिवेशन और अल्फा एंड गामा कोऑर्डिनेशन इज नीडेड टू रिफाइन और स्मूदन द मूवमेंट जो अपने फिजियोलॉजिकल ट्रैमर होता है अगर आप देर इज टर्म दैट्स कॉल्ड एज फिजियोलॉजिकल ट्रैमर इफ यू स्ट्रेच योर आर्म लाइक अब आपने हाथ सीधा करके देखिए आपकी उंगलियाँ हल्की फुल्की थोड़ा सा ट्रैमर कर रही होती है है ना हल्की हल्की जैसे एजिंग होगी थोड़ा ज़्यादा हो जाता है बट फिर भी बिल्कुल कॉन्स्टेंट एकदम स्टेबल नहीं होता है अगर आप रिलैक्स करके छोड़ दो अगर आप अटेंटिवली आप स्ट्रेच आउट करोगे तो नहीं होगा मे बी बट अदरवाइज देर इज ट्रैमर दैट फिजियोलॉजिकल ट्रैमर दैट इज द फिजियोलॉजिकल द नॉर्मल पार्ट दैट हैपन्स ड्यू टू दिस एल्फा एंड गामा कोऑर्डिनेशन कि कौन सा कम ज़्यादा हो रहा है उसके कारण होता है दैट्स नॉर्मल वन ओके नाउ जस्ट कंसिडर द सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल आई विल गिव यू वन मोर एग्जाम्पल इज से आप जैसे चलो ये नेक्स्ट स्लाइड में करता हूँ अदरवाइज ये अपलोड नहीं होगी ओके okay. 